Here we are in section 2.6 with the answers for numbers 10 through 22. Find the missing variable for a sphere. This is SA, and looking up that formula, SA stands for surface area. Here's the formula we're going to be using, SA equals 4 pi r squared. So if we stick that in, we have 800 equals 4 pi r squared. Uh, we want to get r by itself, so divide by 4 pi, divide by 4 pi, and we get r squared equals, and we should get something like 63.66, somewhere in that range right there. Now, if r squared equals this, the undoing of squared is to square root things. r equals, we get 7.978, so round that to 7.98 inches, and that's the radius. Number 11. 7p plus 12 equals 13 minus 7p. We've got to get these two p's together, so I'm going to add 7p to both sides. And we get 14p plus 12 equals 13. Subtract 12 from both sides, we get 14p equals 1, and divide both sides by 14, 1 over 14. There we go. Number 12. Uh, got to distribute and get rid of those parentheses, 4n plus 68 equals 7 minus 2n, that's a plus 4, crucial little sign there. Let's try to get the n's together, let's add 2n to both sides. So we get 6n plus 68 equals 7 plus 4 is 11. Subtract 68 and we get 6n equals negative 57. Divide both sides by 6, and we get n equals negative 57 over 6. I think this reduces down to, if you divide by 3, divide by 3, you get negative 19 halves. Or if you were to do the decimal, uh, negative 9.5 would have been just fine on that one as well. Number 13, 7x minus 10 equals 5x minus 2. Let's distribute that, and we get 7x minus 10 equals 5x minus 10. We subtract 5x from both sides to get the x's together. We end up with 2x minus 10 equals a negative 10. Add 10 to both sides, we get 2x equals 0. Divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 0. Number 14. Uh, we don't have any parentheses, but we've got to get these two x's together. So if I subtract 9x and subtract 9x, we end up with negative 4 equals 6x. Divide by 6, divide by 6. We get x equals, this simplifies to negative two-thirds. Good. Number 15. Uh, distribute this into the parentheses. We have 8x minus 7x minus 21 equals x minus 21. S simplify this, combine like terms. We get x minus 21 equals x minus 21. Uh, something a little fishy is going on there. If we subtract x from both sides, we get negative 21 equals negative 21. Uh, that always is true, regardless of what x is, so that means x can equal all numbers. All the time, that's true. Okay, number 16. Uh, we gotta get these two x's together. I'm gonna add this point two zero x and add the point two zero x on both sides. I get point three eight x equals 13. If I divide both sides by 0.38, uh, I'm going to punch that one in my calculator. I get x equals 34.21. There we go. Number 17. Uh, 119, translate this directly into an equation, is, that's an equal sign, 0.18, that's 18% of what? So we divide by 0.18, divide by 0.18, and we get x is equal to 661.1. There we go. Number 18. 27 is what percent of 74? If we go to solve this equation for x, we divide by 74, we divide by 74, and we get that x equals 0.365, that'll do, and then two decimal places there equals 36.5%. Number 19, 
The original price was 192.56 and the tax is 7.3%. So we're going to take that original price and we're going to add to it because this is a tax 0 0.073 of the 192.56. And we put that into our calculators, punch that through and we get 206.62. Number 20, here we have a discount, which means it's going to be subtraction, but notice we don't have the original. I'm going to put a P there for original price, and it's going to be that the price subtracts off 35% of the price, and it ends up being 43.90. Notice we can't take that 35% times the 43.90, there it's a different amount. So if we subtract those, we get 0.65P equals the 43.90. Um, divide by 0.65, divide by 0.65, and we get that P equals 67.54. And there we have it. Number 21, if the price of a meal after a 25% tip, so something, the original meal, I'll do M, increased by 20% of that meal price, it ended up being 28.80. What was the price of the meal before the tip was added? So if these two add together, that's 1.2m equals 28.80. If we divide both sides by 1.2, we get that the meal was $24. Even. Wow, $24 and zero cents. All right, number 22, the price of an object dropped, so that's going to be a subtraction on this percent, down to 59.50, what was the original price? So we're looking for the original price again, so the price dropped down 15% of that price to 59.50. So that's 0.85p equals 59.5. Divide both sides by 0.85 and round to the nearest penny, and we get, oh, hey, that came out a lot nicer than I thought. $70. Good.